Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some set, three out, two in basketball offensive plays that you can run with most youth basketball teams. Now, with these plays, we're going to be running them mostly up against man-to-man -man defenses. From my experience, a lot of the time, we're going to be playing up against man-to-man -man defenses. However, at the end of this video, I will be adding in a couple of plays that you can run against a zone defense. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these amazing basketball plays. Okay, so in this first play, we're going to have player two setting a screen for player one. Player one is going to use that screen... We are in a man-to-man -man defense right now, and we're going to have player 3 cutting baseline and popping out towards this corner using players 5 and 4 as a screen. So it's going to look like this, where we have player 3 getting caught up on player 4 or player 5, hopefully. He's going to pop out, and now what we're looking to do is have player 2 roll towards the rim and have player one pass over to player three for that three point or a long mid-range shot. Now, going from there, the reason why I want player two to roll and not pop out towards the three point line is for basically two different reasons. Number one, if player five was to fight around player five blue, let's say player three red got caught up here, and now player five is playing on this side, of player five maybe fronting him so that he could pop out and defend player three if that's the case now we have player two rolling towards the basket where he can get a floater or if player five pops off onto him then what's gonna happen here is he can kick it out now to player three or to player five for the layup or player three for the three-point shot the other reason why I wanna have player two rolling towards the basket is for the fact that Player 3 is going to be taking a shot, and now we have a triangle of players. We have one player in front behind, or sorry, in left side, right side, and in front to get that rebound in case player 3 misses. And that's a huge part of my own offense. I always like to try to get as many offensive rebounds as possible because they're just easy baskets. Now, really quickly, if you run a three-out, two-in motion, then you can teach your players some of these set plays out of that three-out, two-in motion because now, let's say you're getting now down, now down near the end of the shot clock, you've been running a motion and it's not been working, you can say, hey, run three-out, two-in, one play number one or whatever it is. Let's say you're only running a three-out, two-in. Then you can go out and say, hey, run four, run four, run four, quick, quick, quick. And if there's only eight or nine seconds left in the clock, then this play and a few others that I'm going to show you today can become very helpful. Now, in this next play, this is another set play, obviously. We're going to have player one pass over to player two. He could also pass to player three, but that would just be running the play in reverse, just kind of mirroring what I'm about to show you. So player two is going to receive that ball. We're going to have player one set a screen for player three, and we're going to have player five set a screen for player four. So they're going to be setting those screens, and now player two has two different options. He can pass the ball to player four for a nice layup or short mid-range shot, or he can pass to player three who can take that three or deep mid-range shot, one or the other. Both options are very good options, and this is a nice quick play that you can run again out of that three out two in motion offense. Now the nice thing with this play as well is the fact that you're still in a three out two in which means that now if you were running that motion offense you're still in your three out two in so you can run whatever motion offense that you're running so if you're running something similar to a pass and screen away player four would be open now we may have a switch he may be able to take his man off the dribble if not he can pass down to the post he can screen away whatever it may be uh, whatever your motion offense is, that's just one of the many motion offenses that is made from the 3 out 2 in. Now this next play is a little bit more advanced, but it's still a very great play to run. And this is one of my favorites at the high school level. So in this play, what we are going to have is player 1 passing over to player 3, and we're going to have player 1 cut down towards this low corner. Next, what we're going to be having is player four setting a screen for player two, 
and we're going to be having player 5 setting a screen for player 3. Now after these screens we're going to have player 3 who is going to be driving down the middle of the key if, if that's open definitely take that layup but we're also going to be having player 2 leaking down towards that low corner. The reason for this is if player 2 or, or two or 4 was to, le uh, to drop off and play help defense or we may have player 5 switching off then we're going to have player 2 open for that three-point shot or if this was to happen with player five player two could then cut baseline and player three can pass him the ball for the layup this is a great play to run fantastic and has helped my teams in the past as well as many teams that uh, I help out coaches with right now has helped them an absolute ton they get tons and tons of points off of this play so as you've seen, these are all against man-to-man -man defenses. Now, if you're going up against zone defenses, stay tuned. Right now, I'm going to show you a couple of plays that you can run against a 2-3 as well as a 3-2 zone defense. Now, I have always been a huge fan of running a 3-out 2-in against a 2-3 zone because there's a lot of weaknesses when it comes to running the actual point up top, even though a lot of coaches will say, yeah, it's a double team, so it's actually quite weak. I'm going to explain to you how this can be such a strong defense. So we're going to have player 1 pass over to player 2, which is going to draw those two players over the defense over like this. And from there, this is a double team because that is the that is the intersection line between those two players so from there what we're gonna have here is a double team player one is gonna cut down towards this low corner which is going to allow him to be open however if he's not able to get that shot up before player four gets down to him we want player five to go to the high post Player 1 can pass to player 5 for that shot. If that draws player 5 up, player 4 has a shot. Or he can do a skip pass out. Just watch out for player 3 picking off that pass because player 3 blue will have that open 3-point shot as well. Now, player 3 could bring or be popping up a bit higher so that player 3 doesn't pick off that pass. That is one option as well. And depending on where player 1 red is uh, looking and uh, defending, he may be wide open in that spot. So option number 1 is player 1 taking a 3-point shot. Second option is the high post for the shot or the feed down low, the high to low pass. Or we can have player 3 open at the 3-point line. Now, in this next play, again against a 2-3 zone, again, using the high post, I want player 5 to be popping up towards the high post and I want that ball to go down into that or into that high post. The reason for that is that can draw player 5 up, which will leave player 4 wide open. Or that could draw player 3 in and player 1, which now leaves player 3 blue wide open to use that whole sideline to his advantage and could even use the baseline cut to his advantage as well for that layup. There's so many different options. He could get covered. That could be a layup for player 4. But a quick, simple, quick hitter that you can run against the 2-3 that is very beneficial and very easy to score from. Now, generally speaking, a 3-out, 2-in offense is quite weak against a 3-2 zone defense. However, there are ways of beating this zone, and it's very similar to the first zone play that I showed you earlier, which is one pass into player 3. Player 1 is going to be cutting down towards that low corner, and player 3 can pass to player 1 for that 3-point shot. If player 4 was going towards the high post, that could be a nice quick shot or a high to low pass. There's so many different options. Player 2 could go down a bit lower. That could be a pass out. Just watch out for the pickoff. Things like that. These plays are absolutely fantastic. Now, I hope that these plays help your team win more games. Go check out my unbeatable basketball defense book that is getting rave reviews right now. So go check that out in the link in the description below. And I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.